Have you ever wondered who decides what PSI should go into a basketball? I assumed that FIBA would stipulate the PSI each basketball needed to be for the regulations to be uniform when testing, um, but this isn't the case. So I thought I'd put it to the test. Now I've got three basketballs here. I've got the Moulton uh, BGM7X, I've got the Wilson Solution, and I've got the um, Spalding TF1000 Legacy. Now all of these I've partially inflated to see if they will react in the same way. All of them have been FIBA approved, and so you would expect them to uh, all be at the same PSI. On the FIBA website there is a very long document uh, which is the FIBA Equipment uh, Venue Center Regulations uh, 2015 to 2019. This has just recently been updated uh, so as it incorporates 2020 as well. But I printed this off and on page 17 it states that the rebound height and reflection of the basketball respectively the internal pressure of the balls will be increased until the rebound height from a drop height of 1800 millimeters is at least 1300 millimeters, give or take 100 millimeters uh, from the floor. What's that mean? Basically what that means is you draw a line on the wall uh, or in their testing center at 1.8 meters, so 1800 millimeters. You drop the ball, so the bottom of that ball um, we will test, take this ball, we hold it at 1.8 meters, we then drop it onto a solid floor and then the rebound must come up between, well, ideally if you've got the optimum ball pressure it's at 1.3 meters but it does give or take, so it's 1.2 to 1.4 and that's to measure to the top of the ball. So that would be then be the optimum uh, PSI. This manufacturer though has already gone through this test that we're going to do and so have helpfully put the PSI uh, requirements on the ball. And the molten ball recommended is 7.25 to 8.7. So the Wilson solution ball is 7 to 9 PSI. And the Spalding TF1000 Legacy Ball, it says to inflate to 8 PSI. So there's a bit of variation in the three balls and they've all been FIBA approved. Now the conditions that we're going to do these tests in are not going to replicate the same conditions that are done uh, by FIBA. Because it says also on here that the temperature, standard atmospheric temperature should be 23 degrees. I can tell you it's pretty chilly in this warehouse today and the temperature is probably five or six so we're going to have some slight variation. Now the difference in the temperature uh, you would need more PSI in the ball in colder temperatures than you would if it was hotter so I'm expecting it to be at the higher end of the PSI range. So the first ball we're going to test is the Molten BG7X and I've already partially inflated this. I'm pretty sure it's not inflated to the correct PSI yet because it's still got a bit of give in it. Uh, I'm going to hold it up to 1.8, we'll drop it and see where it gets to. So we go 1.8. So that's nowhere near. That's around here about 800. So I'm going to put a bit more pressure into the ball. few more pumps of air, see where we go to this time, to 1.8. So the molten ball has reached the, would pass the regulation, so it's got up to 1.3. Bearing in mind, as I said, the temperature is about 5 or 6 degrees. We'll just check the PSI that's in the ball. And this PSI is just under 9, so it probably would be slightly over the recommended of 8.7, but that is down to the air, condi air conditions or the temperature. Um, so 8.7 would be your optimum, I believe. But in colder conditions, you might need to go up to 9 to get it up to the fever approved bounce high. How do the other balls compare? So we'll try a Wilson solution to 1.8, needs a bit more air in that, 
think that's about right. And the PSI, the PSI on the Wilson solution ball. You can see that. If you can't, I tell you, it is nine point six, and the the ball says to inflate to seven to nine psi. So again, because of the temperature, the ball is slightly overinflated. So if you're using it indoor use, you need to make sure that it's slightly less, otherwise the ball's going to be far too bouncy. One more ball to test. The Spalding TF 1000 Legacy. Again, I've underinflated all of these. So we just put a bit more air in. There we go. Just check the PSI on that ball. So the spalding ball. Okay. So that one is a bit different. This one is saying it, the PSI is 12. Uh, and on the ball, the recommended PSI is 8. And as I mentioned before, it's 5 or 6 degrees, so the air temperature is a lot colder, so you need more PSI in the ball to make it bounce higher. So it's interesting to see the variation in uh, the ball pressures required, uh, even in the same, you know, doing it in the same conditions, all of them are FIBA approved. I hope you found the video of interest. If you did, why not hit the subscribe button and click the like button too. If you've got any questions on FIBA approved basketballs, why not leave a comment in the boxes below. Until next time, bye-bye.